Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Eric and today I want to make a quick review after four years of using these insoles they have survived quite a lot now this is the new pair I just got obviously and this is the uh, the old pair that I have used for the past four years the main reason, although they seem to be holding up in a way they're starting to break up on this corner making this slip up the bottom is breaking but I have to say that after four years of heavy use, these insoles have lasted quite a long time. And uh, as a result, I have arches on my feet. I didn't used to have that arch on this left foot. Now the arch on my right foot was always there. See, there's an arch. But on my left foot, there wasn't one and now there is. Now there is a bit of warning for those of you watching this video or considering getting one of these insoles. Um, you gotta keep in mind that these come with a low, medium, and high arch uh, implants like this. These little implants that go inside, they have certain elevations. So like this is the high one. It'll say at the bottom, high. There will be some that'll say medium and low. I recommend you start with the low first for like a couple of weeks the medium and high because when I first got these I actually went straight to high and um, it cost my uh, my left foot <laughs> one of the toes went numb for like a month you know because you gotta think about it uh, if you have a flat foot and the arch begins to form you're moving ligaments tendons bones out of uh, and you know to go into place so expect some discomfort at the beginning but yeah other than that guys these insoles are amazing and they last and for the price you cannot beat it for like 30 bucks i think it's i think they go by now they used to go for like 20. now they're going for about 30. you might find other brands that go a little bit cheaper but i usually go with uh walk fit it does the job so yeah if you plan to get these they do last so just want to thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found this video informative i uh one more thing i want to add is that i actually use an uh an inversion table at home is one of those tables that lay you down upside down it does help so if you want to find out more information about that i haven't made a video of it but i, sh I think i should make a video of uh an inversion table so thank you guys for watching and um see you guys on the next video later